Hey Geeks, so on a previous video, I did a tutorial on how to use Caden Live subtitles, but since then, there have been some improvements, specifically some formatting tools. So if you don't know how to use a subtitle tool, you could actually get there in two ways. If you look down here on your project timeline, above here, you see all these menu options, and over here, there is an option for edit subtitle tool. So if you click on that, you'll now see the subtitles track, and there's some other options here, and I'll go over these a little bit later. And also, if you go over here to Project Subtitles, there's some additional subtitle features. So once you actually have this subtitle track, you can now add a subtitle. So all you have to do is wherever your cursor is, just double click, and now it adds a subtitle. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a subtitle I already had prepared. So there is my subtitle, and now, there is the subtitles you can see there. Very simple, easy to do. And at the same time, you can move this around. You could also resize it as well or lengthen it. So that's up to you. But now let's go over some of the features of the subtitle tool. And so the first thing is position. There is a beginning and end. So say for example, your cursor is right here and this is where you want it to begin. All you have to do is click on this this is where it begins, and then say you want it to end here, I click on this, now it ends there. So that's what the position tools are. And then if you look at down further, there are some other tools. If you had multiple subtitles, you could go to the previous or next subtitle. So say for example, I went ahead and copied this subtitle, and I just paste it here. And here I could go to this one, or to this one, and I'm gonna make this one a little bit different. So I'll just call it title two. So there it is, so it changes it there. And also if you wanted to add another subtitle, you could do it here. So let's go ahead and put a cursor here, add a subtitle, you could do it this way as well. And so the next feature is this split subtitle at cursor position. So the cursor position to talk about is in your subtitles itself. So say for example, at this point, you wanted to split it into its own subtitle all you have to do is go down here and then split subtitle. And now it's actually two different subtitles as you can see there. So it makes it a little bit easier if you have a long subtitle and you want to split things up. You could simply do that right in here in the subtitle part. And then another thing you could do, which is the new thing is formatting. So this is a very welcome feature because before you weren't able to change the styles without using HTML. So now if you click on this, it's gonna show subtitle style options. And if you click on custom font, you can change your font from whatever different fonts that you have. So I already have a font here. You can change the font size, font color. There is an outline color, outline size, shadow. And there's also custom positions as well. So there's some defaults here, as you can see. So way more options than we had before. And then there is another option here called opaque background. So if you click on this, it will bring it back down to bottom center. And if you actually wanted to reset to all the old settings, currently there isn't a way to do that. You have to manually select it, uh, unselect these. And the thing is, if you did have these custom settings and say, for example, uh, you added another subtitle clip, it would take on all the previous settings that you had. So that's the only thing that I don't like about this. Uh, say, for example, you wanted different types of subtitles and you wanted to kind of start it over or use different styles. Uh, in this case, you know, if you did change your style here and then you go here, it changes all of them. So that is kind of annoying. And if any of you know of a way to do that without this occurring, then please let me know. But Hopefully in a future update, they'll be able to give you options to reset everything or also have different styles for subtitles. So those are the main subtitle features, but now there is another feature here. It is a, a way for you to do speech recognition, but unfortunately at this point, I don't think it works very well. So let me show you how this works. So all I have to do is go here to the clip and then I'll just click on speech recognition. You could do it for all tracks, select the track or select the clip. I'll just do this select the clip and we'll go ahead and process this. And depending on how fast your computer is, it might take a little while. Okay, so it's done. 
But unfortunately, the only thing that it came up with was the. And so obviously doing speech recognition does require a lot of work, more than likely more AI tools. So at least at this point, it's not there. And then the final thing, uh, final major feature I want to show you is two things, actually. So let's go ahead and just say this as a subtitle, as crazy as that looks. All right, <laughs> so there's our subtitle. So here, we'll go ahead and export this. So we'll go here, Project, Subtitles, and then you can export a subtitle file. So this is a great thing. Kdenlive Live allows you to export and import subtitles. So I'm going to save it. And I'll say, for example, I deleted this. And I could go ahead and import it. Here, import subtitle file. You could look for the subtitle file. Say OK. And there it is. Same subtitle and same position. However, what if you wanted to import it in a different position? Well, whenever you do the import, uh, all you have to do is you need to choose an option import at timeline cursor position. So we'll check that, choose a subtitle file again, and say okay. And there it is. But if you had other subtitles, it could also cause issues as well. So make sure whenever you're exporting, importing that either you just want one subtitle or all the various subtitles. So in this case, it imported, you know, exported and imported all of it. And so that is a nice feature because I know a lot of people use subtitles and it's nice that Kdenlive Live works with these subtitle tools, but I think the most important new feature here is the ability to change the styles. Uh, that is one thing that was sorely lacking on a previous update. And as time goes on, this is gonna get better. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways that you can use the subtitles tool, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did wanna see more of my Kdenlive Live tutorials, tips, and tricks, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave in the description area below or up here. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.